Good afternoon, brothers and sisters. I sincerely hope that this message finds you and yours safe and well at this time. This week, we who are Nara Baptist Church find ourselves facing a unique challenge, the challenge of being a large and vibrant church in amidst a global pandemic. As you would no doubt be aware, the government has directed that gatherings of 100 or more people need to cease meeting together. In the coming week, the church leadership will be meeting to determine what this means for us in the short, medium and long term here at NBC. But for this Sunday, it means that our physical services will not be running here on the property. Instead, we'll be live streaming here on this YouTube channel. I believe that this decision is an opportunity for us to show practical love to the most vulnerable among our church family and also amongst our wider community. Praise God, though, that we are blessed to live in a time of communication technology that allows us to come together despite being physically separated. To that end, I encourage you to subscribe to this channel and to familiarise yourself with it, for this is the way we'll be, our modified Sunday services will be presented. Take a moment to consider how you and your family will utilise this technology in your own home. I know that for many of us, the Sunday gathering is a highlight and a weekly blessing. It's a time of fellowship, discipleship, prayer, worship and the like. And it's little wonder that the Holy Spirit directed the author of Hebrews to pen these words in Hebrews chapter 10. Let us consider how we may spur one another on toward love and good deeds, not giving up meeting together as some are in the habit of doing, but encouraging one another all the more as you see the day approaching. It is true that in this time of uncertainty, this Sunday, our meeting together will look a little different. But I trust that we, as God's people, can still cling to the promises that are written in the preceding verses. Let us draw near to God with a sincere heart and with the full assurance that faith brings, having our hearts sprinkled to cleanse us from a guilty conscience and having our bodies washed with pure water. Let us hold unswervingly to the hope we profess for he who promised is faithful. Please do join us here again this Sunday, just prior to 9.30 a.m. and 5 p.m. for our live stream services. May God's grace and peace be with you all at this time.